What's up everybody? Blue Gabe here. So this video is going to be crazy awesome. I didn't see it coming, didn't know I was going to do it, but this past weekend we were at a meet and greet in Okeechobee, Florida at Will's Ranch where I did the Mountain Oyster video and I forgot my GoPro. He called me this morning and said, hey, I've got to come over and work on some horses. Meet me there and grab your camera. I got here and said, oh my God, I got to film this. Y'all are about to get to see something that not very many people have seen. It's going to make you cringe. It's going to be awesome, but hey, Y'all come along and watch this. Horses need dental care, all right? And it all relates back to the TMJ, where the jaw hinges. If their mouth isn't right, then their TMJ is gonna be sore, and then that makes that soreness carry out throughout the top line. So we're gonna take a look in here, see what this horse has going on, and address it. So we're going to the dentist today. Yeah, the horse is going to the dentist. And you're the dentist. Correct. Hold on, let me just show them these tools we're working with. So yeah, we have a variety of instruments. Oh. And to address some of these things. Yeah, right, so horse. so what we'll do is we'll get we'll get Dr. Bryant to sedate this horse. And then once the horse is sedated, he'll just be standing and be calm and we'll be able to address everything properly. And we're gonna put the speculum on there. And it's gonna allow his mouth to stay open before we can look inside and see what's going on. Okay? And you just kind of put it on just like a bridle. Just slip it over his ears, put his, let his front teeth rest on those plates, okay? Tighten it up a little bit, and it'll open and hold it open until I decide to close it. He looks pretty comfortable, he's not in any pain. Yeah, no, he's, he's just, just saying, let's say, oh. He's just chilling, so we're gonna rinse him out whatever's in there from his breakfast. <laughs> okay. And then we'll have a look. Say, oh. Uh -oh. Look there. at this thing. He's done break up, broke out the headlight. So we'll just take a look up in there. Can you see up in there? Yeah. This horse has been done pretty regular. Um, for a while so it doesn't have a lot of issues but they've got a lot of teeth their teeth go all the way back to about their eye so he's got teeth all the way in here and of course he's got incisors his front teeth all right he needs a good cleaning so we're gonna get him fixed up so the cool thing is about about some of these instruments is they're coated with diamond because they have to uh to take down that enamel and the only thing harder than enamel is diamond and uh, they don't really cut tissue see like this thing's running on my hand it won't do anything but it'll, it'll really break those teeth I don't know about that really watch this It doesn't hurt them because they don't have nerves in their teeth like we do. They don't have any sensation, so they don't feel hot or cold or pain. But they do feel the vibration, and there's not a lot to absorb that vibration, so sometimes they shake and move because of the vibration. But it doesn't hurt. It's almost like trimming your fingernail.
How many of y'all would have known that a horse goes to a dentist? Now, I guess common sense says you would think that they would, but I pulled up here this morning and had no idea that this type of stuff gets done to animals. I guess I did in, a, in some way, but not in this form. I didn't know he had drills and grinders and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I hope y'all are enjoying this. What's next? What's so, next? So I'm going to reinstall his bit seats. And, and a bit seat is where we taper the first tooth down so this, tooth, this tissue doesn't pinch. And you kind of see what's still established from last time. It's kind of got this tapering effect all the way down to the gum line on this first tooth on the top and bottom. But I'm going to just go ahead and like realign that to where it does better. See, every horse has all this loose pouchy flesh here and tongue and cheek. And when the bit's pulled back, if there's a post on it, it will tend to pinch. So I'm just going to make that to where it's real nice and round and smooth and comfortable in a bidding situation. And we're going to do it on uppers and lowers. I'll just show you. Hold on, show me that tool real quick. Yeah, it's kind of like an apple core. So it just, you'll see what it does. It'll just kind of bevel that tooth there. See that? Yeah. So it just kind of rounds that down real nice to where all that tissue can just roll back and not pinch. Horses that'll tend to be uncomfortable in a bidding situation or root and toss their head and lull their tongue and all these different things. And so this just eliminates that. It makes it more comfortable for them. See that? Yeah. Okay, we'll do these uppers. I mean, to prove my point to you, Gabe, if you want to put your hand on his skull while I'm doing that, you can feel the vibration. Oh, no, 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 I know. I think anybody watching yeah. is going to know that yeah. all that's doing is tickling his ear. Head. Okay, so now that we have the, the molars balanced, I need to come to the incisors, the front teeth, and address those. And then we'll be done. Are you going to give him any of those like gold caps or anything? Maybe some diamonds on his front teeth? Well, we can. He, he's not in need of that. Um, pretty much everything that's done in human dentistry today can be done on a horse. So you could, you could do a root canal on a tooth if you needed to? Yeah, we can do root canals, apiectomies, where we cut the bottom of the root off and backfill the tooth. Um, we do bridges, crowns, all that stuff. Look at his lip. He's like, I can't feel nothing. So, so it's, it's ideal. Like, like I said, this horse isn't too bad because he's been done quite a few times uh, on an annual basis. But like, we just look for anything restricting our side-to-side -side movement and our front-to-back movement. So I'm just going to realign these just a tad and um, make them a little more comfortable. What tool are we working on now? This is a diamond cutoff wheel. And I'm just going to use this to plane the surface. Better you than I'm me, not horse. really going to cut anything. See, I'm just setting it on there. Yeah. And I'm just going to let it kind of glide over and just bring all this into uniformity. And again, it's vibration. It doesn't hurt this horse. It can't. There's no nerve in this, this tooth. There. Okay, getting closer. So this is basically the same thing. It's just gonna play it over every So 
the next thing is these canines. Horses have canines. And so they use these canines for dominance, okay? They have them on the uppers and lowers. Your mares don't necessarily have them, just your stallions. And they use them to fight with in the wild over mares. So they serve no purpose in this environment and they can cut other horses and so on and so forth. They restrict the bit going in and out of the mouth and they cut the tongue sometimes. So when we find them, we'll just round them off and smooth them down like this. And it's, uh, it's more comforting, comfortable to a horse. And I'll just go ahead and redo them a little bit. Start, starting to get a point right there on the front side of that one, see? And this, this thing has like, it's almost like a thimble shape. So I just set it down over the tooth. And just kind of roll it around. And it takes off any of those edges. So his tongue can glide over it again, real comfortable. One more. All right, and then- One more canines for you. Since, uh, since we addressed the incisors, he's got like a really sharp edge now on the, on the outside edge. I'm gonna roll that back and so it doesn't chip off or cut his lip. Feel that, Gabe. Feel how. Feel that edge. Yeah. So I'm just gonna bevel that. You see the difference? Yeah. Feel it now. And just that little bit will help. Okay. So the last part is we need to look in there to make sure everything's meeting with equal pressure. And if it's not, I'll have to go back and readdress it. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that, but don't go anywhere because I'm gonna take you back out to Will's Ranch and show you the most awesome helicopter ride ever. We did a big meet and greet, me, dear meet, and dear mom last weekend, or just heck the other day. We got on a helicopter and this dude let it rip tater chip, but look at this beautiful swan. Hey, hello. Well, don't be hissing at me. I fight alligators, I ain't scared of you. Dang, swan wasn't very friendly. All right, let's take it to the helicopter. We'll see y'all soon. What's up everybody, Blue Gabe. We're out here at the meet and greet. Got some awesome fans. Y'all see that helicopter? We're about to go on it. I haven't ate all day just so I didn't throw up. Y'all are coming along. Wow! Now it's both in there. This goes through here somehow. I ain't worried about this. We're, <laughs> We're good. We're all right. Hey, does it help if we're scared of heights? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Babe, just keep it in.
Yeah, he's a good pilot. All right, we'll see y'all in a bit. All right, y'all, so this is one of the other awesome things they have out here. This cannon right here shoots that pumpkin out into the clouds. We're gonna watch him let it rip. He's building up pressure. Uh-oh. There you go. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. What an awesome time. If y'all are looking for something to do out in the Okeechobee area, go check out Diamond Sea Events, Corn Maze, and Fall Festival. I'll have everything in the description below. But like I always say, all good stories got to have an ending. And right now, we out of here.